Right, today I'm taking this cannon out and seeing how it performs. This is a Canon Sure Shot 70 zoom from 1995. I actually do remember these being new and it's interesting to think about the market then. In the 70s and 80s, if you wanted a camera just for snaps, um, for holidays, etc., you might use something like a Kodak um, Instamatic or then the um, 110 cameras. That was very much the 70s and even onto the 80s when they launched the disc camera. But the 35mm market was really building and in particular the compacts. And it's interesting that this camera, 1995, I re remember my parents buying one of these. They were not particularly cheap, I think they were around the £100 mark. And what we have is a basic, I say basic point and shoot, but I remember the quality of this camera as being excellent. We have a 35mm to 70 zoom lens, we have this very fashionable cam cover for the time, we have a pop-up flash, we do have the facility at the back to turn the flash off, which I have found very useful this morning. The camera loaded very well. I have a Nikon of the same age that I loaded this morning and that didn't work so well. This worked brilliantly to load the film and let's see how it does. Here we are in Thorncombe Woods. It's um, locally known as Hardy's Cottage Woods. Mainly beech trees. A good choice here. There's some interesting swallow holes over here. It's a sort of just naturally made holes in the ground. We have a swallow hole. It's quite <coughs> amazing how busy it is here today, but I suppose with COVID, people have nowhere else to go. You can't see any people at the moment, but you can hear them in the background and this path has been extremely busy today. Mm -hmm. 